Good evening. Sean Lafferty is off tonight. It is a conversation happening across the country. School districts everywhere are looking into how to address gender in schools. Tonight, Crawford Central School District taking aim at new policies that would set standards for people identifying as a gender not given to them at birth. Our Matt Mathias was in Meadville tonight and has our story. Matt. Well, Jen, these new policies look to comply with Title IX regulations, but the district solicitor warns that the district could put themselves in a harmful position if they move forward. Crawford Central School District is discussing the potential creation of new policies that would draw a line for people who are looking to be called the name and gender they choose in the school's record books, sex-based distinction on bathrooms and other facility use, and a sex-based distinction in athletics. Each member of the board declining to go on camera directly for an interview on their policy, but still spoke to the public at large Monday night. When we, we release these kids into the real world, they graduate, you can no longer pick and choose what you want to be and stuff like that. We always want to hit. So I think XX and XY chromosomes is the way to go moving forward. It's a conversation not unique to Crawford Central, but they're approaching it with caution. The district solicitor saying it's illegal to deny students their rights. Some board members agree. It's protected. It's legally protected. And so uh, we can choose our gender identity when we graduate high school and others disagree. It seems to me like it's in clear compliance with the, the wording and the language of, of Title IX. The district solicitor claims implementing these policies would likely put a huge target on the district's back by means of a legal battle. One resident say they can't afford. We spoke with some residents in the district that said they came to learn about the budget but left today thinking about a different topic in mind. What I gathered from the meeting is it sounds like it would be a violation of the Title IX law, which is an anti-discrimination law. And I also think given the budget situation, it looks like it would be a pretty hefty legal battle, so it looks like some additional costs. It just doesn't make sense. Nobody has an easy time of it growing up. Nobody, that everybody's figuring themselves out and it's absolutely critical to have a supportive school environment. And the board will consider if the policies will move on to a vote at their next upcoming meeting on April 22nd. Jen. All right, Matt Mathias in the studio. Thank you, Matt.